layout is a simple yet the essential interface to understand and control visual design. In this work, we saw a broad range of controllable layout generation tasks in a single model as shown below. Controllable layout generation aims to synthesize plausible layouts given user provided conditions, such as the position of a specific element and the relationship between elements. Our model, layer DM, is built on discrete state space distribution models and runs to infra noiseless layout from the initial input progressively. During inference, we propose to inject user provided conditions to enable controllable layer generation. We experimentally show that layer DM successfully generates high quality layers in various controllable layer generation tasks. We are going to explain further details. First, we describe the formal definition of the layout. At the bottom, an example of a layout depicting a banner and its visualization is shown. A set of elements represents a layout. Each element contains one-dimensional categorical information and four-dimensional positional information. Although positional information is rep represented by continuous variables, a recent research trend in layout generation is to discretize positional information and describe the whole layout as a sequence of discrete variables like text. Next, we briefly review the fundamental concepts of discrete diffusion models. Diffusion models are generative models characterized by a forward and reverse Markov process. The forward process collapses the data into a sequence of increasingly noisy variables. Using a learnable neural network, the reverse process gradually denoises the variables towards the actual data distribution. Discrete diffusion models are for modeling the distribution of categorical variables such as text. Collapsion is equipped with a predefined transition matrix and the token is stochastically replaced with another in vocabulary. There's a key distinction between layout DM and naively applying discrete diffusion models. Diffusion models generate fixed dimensional data. However, each layout may contain a different number of elements. We introduce a dummy path token and do padding for each layout. In addition, discrete diffusion models assume that all tokens are switchable by corruption. However, the layout is a mixture of tokens from multiple modalities. We consider a modality-wise corruption process to avoid invalid switching. In each diffusion sampling process step, we propose injecting conditional information. We offer two ways depending on the type of the conditions. If the condition directly specifies a value for a field, we call it a hard condition and solve it by masking. It is just replacing a part of ZT minus one according to the specification. If the condition doesn't directly specify a value, but tries to provide some hints, we call it the soft condition and solve by logit adjustment. Logit adjustment is to add a prior term to the predicted logits so that the provided conditions are more likely to be met when z t minus one is sampled from the logits. The actual implementation of the prior term is very flexible. The most simple one is hard coding. It can also be gradients from loss functions with respect to the prediction. Next, we discuss the critical advantages of layer DM over existing methods. First, it doesn't assume any specific generation order, unlike autoregressive models. Second, it can flexibly change the number of elements to be generated. Third, it can incorporate both hard and soft conditions. These advantages are all essential to build a unified model and a layer DM is the only one to fulfill the requirements. We demonstrate the validity of layer DM on two datasets. Here we show some results when the condition is hard on RICO. RICO is a dataset of user interface designs for mobile applications containing 25 element categories such as text button, toolbar, and icon. We can see that layer DM generates high quality layouts with few layout aesthetics violations such as misalignment 
and overlap compared to other methods like layer transformer. Here we show some results in PubRainet. PubRainet is a dataset of research papers containing five element categories, such as table, image, and text. We can see the same trend. Since our model can achieve fast generation at the sacrifice of quality thanks to the property of diffusion models, we compare the models in terms of speed and quality in this graph. If the model achieves a smaller FID and shorter generation time, it means that the model is better. As we can see, layer DM achieves the best speed quality trade-off in most of the cases. For more quantitative evaluation, please refer to the manuscript. In summary, we solve a broad range of conditional layer generation tasks in a single model, and our contributions are threefold. First, we build a discrete diffusion model tamed for layer generation. Second, we propose a training-free algorithm to inject various conditions during inference. Third, we demonstrate favorable performance against task-specific and agnostic baselines. If you are interested, please check our project page. That's all. Thank you for your attention.